Hey, welcome to the Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use the HTML tag style in order to remove the inline styling from your HTML elements. Now, the most basic way to style an HTML element is just to come in here to the tag and we can just say style and maybe I could like change the color or something, right? So I could change the color of this header to blue and it changes and it works, right? So I'm just applying the style to each individual tag that I want the style to be applied to. There's actually another way that we can go about styling our elements. And it's not better or worse than using inline styling, it's just different. And that's using the HTML style tags. So we can actually create a set of HTML tags and inside of those tags, we can write all of the CSS styling values that we want to use in our web page. So what we want to do is come up here to the head of the HTML file. And I'm just going to go right below the title here. And I'm going to make these style tags. So style and then this end style tag. And then in here, we can actually start writing out CSS code. So up until this point, if you've been following along with this tutorial, we've only been doing CSS in the line. But now we're going to be doing some CSS inside of these style tags. The first thing you need to know about writing CSS inside of these style tags is how can you specify which HTML elements you want to style. In other words, when we're using these inline styles, if I go over to this H1, I can just put a style tag right here, right? And I automatically know what this styling is getting applied to because we're putting it here on this H1 tag, right? It's really obvious. It's hard to kind of miss what's getting styled. But up here inside of these style tags, we actually have to use something called a CSS selector. And we can use a CSS selector to select the HTML element or elements that we want to style. And I'm going to make an entire video just talking about CSS selectors. They can get a little complicated and there's a couple more things that you need to know to fully grasp how to use selectors. But for now, just know that the most basic way to select an HTML attribute is just to refer to it by name. So for example, if I wanted to put some styling on the body right here, I can just say body and now I can make an open and closed curly bracket and inside of this open and closed curly bracket, I can start defining my CSS attributes. So if I wanted to define the color, I could just say color colon and then the color that I wanted to color everything. And so now what's going to happen is all the text inside the body is going to get colored blue. I could also make another property. We could do like background color and why don't we make this red? And so now when I refresh my page, you'll see that all of the text is blue and we have a background color of red, but I didn't have to use an inline style. In other words, I didn't have to come here and like specify this whole inline style tag. I was just able to use a CSS selector to select the tag that I wanted to style. And then I included all of the CSS attributes inside of these curly brackets. So within these style tags, you can define as many CSS selected attributes as you want. So if I wanted to override the style for the header, I could say header one and color is going to be, let's set it equal to green, right? So now instead of the header one being blue, it's going to be green. But what's cool about this is this is going to apply to all of the headers on our entire web page. So let's add a couple more headers, right? Maybe below this little paragraph here, we can put another header one and we can just call it another header. And then how about like right up here in front of this paragraph, we'll put another header one. We can say a third header. So when I refresh this page, you'll notice that all three of these headers are colored green, right? They're all colored green because I'm selecting up here using this CSS selector, I'm selecting all of the header ones in the entire document. And so, you know, you can modify the styles up here and then they'll get modified on the web page just like that. So as you learn more about CSS selectors, you'll be able to select individual elements and you'll also be able to define things like classes and IDs, which will make styling your elements a lot easier. Now, like I said before, this styling elements like this isn't necessarily better or worse than using inline styling. Inline styling has its advantage and there's definitely a lot of situation where, situations where you're going to want to use it. But 
For the most part, you wanna store your CSS inside of these style tags, or you wanna store them inside of external style sheets. And I'm gonna make a video talking about using those as well. But for now, just know that you can put any CSS that you want inside of these style tags, and it has to be inside of this head tag. And all your CSS can go in here, and that way you don't have to mess up all of these HTML tags with inline styling. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.